A non-uniform rod AB of mass M and length 5D rests horizontally in equilibrium on two supports at C and D, where AC equals DB equals D, as shown in figure 1. The center of mass of the rod is at the point G. A particle of mass 5M over 2 is placed on the rod at B, and the rod is on the point of tipping about D. Show that GD equals 5D over 2. The particle is moved from B to the midpoint of the rod and the rod remains in equilibrium. Find the magnitude of the normal reaction between the support at D and the rod. So that's the question then. I've got it in summary form here. So here's the A and B. So we need to show that GD is 5D over 2 first of all. So let's have a look at that then. What I'm going to do so we can work with the pictures, I'm just going to move this question down I think so that we can just look at the actual workings in between the picture. So the first part of the question then I'll leave it here for now. It says show that GD equals 5D over 2. So let's go back to our problem. Part A. Uh, this is D isn't it? So what have we got then? GD is 5D over 2, so let's call GD uh, X here. Okay, now the, p the mass is placed here, so the 5M over 2 will be a weight acting down 5M over 2, lots of G. The weight of the rod is M, so this is MG. There's a reaction at C, of course, and a reaction at D, so I've put those in already. So on the point of tipping around D when this weight is placed at B, the reaction at C will tend to zero or be zero, won't it? So here R C equals naught. So let's take moments around D and then that should give us the answer. Gives. So the moment anticlockwise then will be Mg times X minus, and this is a clockwise moment, so it's minus, 5mg over 2 times its distance away from d, uh, the point d, which is the value d. So that equals naught then. So we can cancel by mg all the way through. Move the 5d over 2 over the other side to plus 5d over 2. So there's x then. x is equal to 5d over 2. So we know x. So now the weight is moved, isn't it, in the second part of the problem. Find the normal reaction between the support and the rod at D when the weight is moved. So what does RD equal? So the weight is moved from here. So I'm going to put a line through that now for the second part of the problem. And it's moved to the midpoint here. And this is now 5mg over 2 as a weight here. OK, and this weight has gone. So now we've got both a reaction at C and D. We want to work out the reaction at D. So if we take moments about C, let's have a go at that then. So we want moments about C gives. Anti-clockwise moment about C then, what do we get? I'll try and keep it in the picture. Um, we've got RD times this distance here, which is 3D. So RG, RD times 3D is the anti-clockwise moment, minus MG times this distance here. Now, x was equal to 5d over 2, or 2.5d. So this is 3d, so this little gap will be the difference, won't it? So it's d over 2. So it's minus mg then, times the distance, d over 2. OK, so that's rd times that, minus that, minus the 5mg over 2. 
times that distance, which is from here, and this distance is d. This distance is the midpoint, isn't it? So that's 5d over 2. This distance here is d, so this difference will be 3d over 2. So that distance there is 3d over 2. So I'll put it in here so we can read it clearly. That equals 0. So that tells us then rd the d's cancel all the way through. Uh, so 3rd then is equal to, this is mg over 2, move it over the equals to a plus. This is 5mg times 3 is 15mg over 4. So this is 2 over 4 plus 15 over 4 is 17mg over 4. So divide by 3 then. RD. So I'll just get rid of this now, this bit of workings here, so that we can tidy it up. So we can just work on it then. So that tells us then what RD is. There we go. RD is equal to 17mg. Move the 3 from times to divide. 3 falls at 12. So the reaction at D is 12, and that's what we wanted to work out.